so piles are basically dilated anal cushions so uh, in simple terms so you notice some swelling in your anal area and these swellings may be asymptomatic or you know at times cause you uh, unnoticed bleeding can cause you some sort of soreness while you see or some itching sensation so these are basically dilated blood vessels in your anal canal which may cause you symptoms and need to be treated just to brief you about piles piles is a very common uh, disease that many people have but as i told you the classical symptoms of piles are uh, painless bleeding so you know uh, many people don't notice it until and unless they come across some sort of complication that happen because of piles and then they visit a doctor get that get it diagnosed from a doctor and get treated so uh, one thing i would always ask the patients is you know just try and uh, have a look at your uh, you know uh, potty seats once you get up from the potty seat if you have any sort of discomfort when you pass tools so that it's the only simple thing you can ask your patients to do or everyone can follow this habit if at all you have any discomfort otherwise you can just get up and get going so can lifting heavy weights cause piles yes they can cause piles it is not necessary that everyone who lifts heavy weights will get piles at some point in time right so uh, anything that increases or you you know you don't need to strain a lot to do that activity will or may lead to piles so he- lifting heavy weight will obviously cause you to strain uh, certain people who you know uh, have constipation they need to strain a lot for passing stools that straining even can cause or lead to piles but it is not necessary even the i mean we have come across many heavy weight lifters and i'm really mean heavy who don't have any symptoms of piles so it heavy weights lifting heavy weights may or may not lead to piles it's a known uh, you know positive factor for piles so right if on. you are into any sort of exercise you need not worry about lifting weights just start come and continue exercise if you have any discomfort then an only i mean then visit a doctor and get yourself uh, examined so uh, i just like to add one thing before we conclude this so many people are very scared of getting treated for the piles they i mean almost all the patients have this misconception that uh, you know undergoing a surgery or any surgical therapy for piles may need or lead to incontinence of stools now i'll tell you this is just a theoretical possibility that happens all the doctors are so well trained to treat piles because piles is the most common disease that we come across and so there is hardly any complications that happen or occur after you know getting yourself treated for piles and by treated i mean surgically treated by piles i haven't come across any single case of fecal or anal incontinence after any sort of surgery for piles so i just suggest or request everyone to get yourself consulted or examined by a doctor in time before you land up in a complication and then need to rush for the treatment